Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here some more pens and these are pens that were loaned to me by Ray at Vintage and Modern Pens. These are the raw handmade ebonite fountain pens. Now these are obviously quite different. I did a, a review video of a number of these previously and these are different models here. Uh, I've got a couple actually to show you that I've already showed you on the previous video just in terms of size uh, comparisons here and material comparisons. But these retail for around about £145 from Ray at Vintage and Modern Pens in the UK. These are ebonite, so these are effectively uh, hard rubber or vulcanized rubber. Uh, these uh, Typically, ebonite has been made in fountain pens from uh, the 1800s through to the uh, present day. Um, ebonite is a hard rubber and it was a material developed by the American chemist Charles Goodyear from 1800 to 1860 and was extensively used by nearly all leading pen manufacturers from the late 1890s onwards. So any vintage fountain pens typically you will find are made of hard rubber or vulcanized rubber which is effectively ebonite so this is a hard rubber not a soft rubber so it's not a rubber that is going to flake uh it's not a a soft bouncy rubber like you would have on say a car tire or or a bicycle tire uh, these actually feel quite solid uh, and actually feel almost like an acrylic pen just with a very slight smell of rubber to them but you only get that if you put your nose right up to the material so i'll show you some of the pens here so this was one on the previous video that i had and this is called the olive green now as i've mentioned these are ebonite pens but they come with the 1.9 millimeter Franklin Christoph music nib. So these are very, very good stub nibs. Now, typically you can get a pen in extra fine, fine, medium, broad, sometimes double or triple broad, and then you get stubs, and these typically tend to be 1.1, 1.3, sometimes even 1.5 millimeter. But then to get above 1.5 millimeter in a nib, you typically do really want to be able to keep up with the ink flow and get the full line width on a 1.9 millimeter nib so you typically want to have a music nib there and typically multiple ink channels on the feed so that you're not going to have any ink starvation when writing so these are ebonite pens and they are cartridge converter pens they do have long threads to unscrew the body that doesn't bother me it comes with a Schmidt converter and most of these are pretty well polished in terms of the finish you can see there really the light reflecting off of these pens and you can see that music nib there a little bit more it really is a lovely nib but like I mentioned it doesn't have any tipping on the nib so Typically with stub nibs that don't have tipping and music nibs, you do have to be a little bit more precise because you don't have that ball to write with. But it means that you do get a lot more line variation going on. So that's the olive green. Now there's a few other different colours here. Uh, there's this one which is actually a yellow black marble which is beautiful. Um, I really do like this. This, this is a really, really good pattern. Uh, in terms of the pen, it's really a cigar shape. It doesn't come with a clip. Uh, the cap finial there tapers off to a point. And the same with the, the body finial. But that pattern is actually quite quite gorgeous. It's almost like a, a, a bit of a... Um, someone's done like ink splotches over some canvas. And it's the, the ink has just run around in uh, in various forms there. So these are all music nibs. Now you can get these with a 1.1 millimeter nib as well from Ray, but these these are all of these here that I have are the 1.9 
millimeter franklin christoph music nibs so this really is quite an interesting pen it retails for around 145 pound which i don't think is is that bad for a pen like this especially with a music nib on uh, it is a steel nib it's not a gold nib for that price but what you're getting is something a little bit more unique and likewise the patterns here in the material now this one is a what is what's called a blue black ripple and you can see there hopefully there's just these hints of ripples of black going through the pen i'll try to zoom in a little bit more here you might see it there it's very difficult to see but it is there the ripple effect and again these are all 1.9 millimeter music nibs so for me this really is a good nib i do like stub nibs i like broader wider nibs so there's the blue black ripple then there's this light blue and i showed this on the previous video as well uh, and again this is all 1.9 millimeter music nibs all cartridge converters so there's no difference really other than the material on these pens and then there's this uh, green black ripple and you can see that ripple going on a lot more in that pen here than maybe the blue pen but again that's quite a nice effect going on there and again the same sort of cap and um, body finials no clips and the 1.9 millimeter music nib and as I mentioned these do have a lot of threads for the body but not for the cap and in a Schmidt converter so that's just something to bear in mind is that this does take a lot of turns to screw the body on but for me this is actually quite a nice nice looking pen and then another yellow black marble so these are two yellow black marbles but you can see that they are quite different in patterns so you're going to get different patterns uh, and this is just something to bear in mind uh, but you can pick these up from way at most of the uk pen shows and you can see here though this this material is really really good so it's it is a gorgeous gorgeous material and then again the 1.9 millimeter music nib there And again cartridge converter but these are quite a nice looking design so really that's the vintage and modern pens raw handmade ebonite pen we'll do a writing sample so you can see these uh, writing now this pen doesn't come in any kind of luxury box uh, the £145, you basically get this cardboard tube that it comes in. It's a recyclable tube. It comes with a vintage modern fountain pen stamp on there. And if I remove it here, again, this is all recyclable. So it's actually quite good packaging. You get this felt pen sleeve and then the pen pops out like so. And there you have it let's do a size and weight check so the length here we are looking at around about 145 millimeters in length and around about 58 millimeters for the cap and then if I unscrew the cap to the tip of the nib or the tip of the tines we're looking around about 142 millimeters so that's quite a length it's it's an oversized pen you can see that in my hand here it's not a short pen you can even post the cap as well it does become a little bit long but it's not back weighted at all it's actually more center weighted around here so it, it actually feels quite nice in the crook of your hand there now this this version of the pen is inked up so let's do a weight check on this pen So fully inked, we are looking at about just over 29 gra and a half grams. The cap, we are looking at 
just over six and a half grams and then the body fully inked up we are looking at just over 21 and a half grams and that's using uh, inked up with around 0.7 milliliters of ink so let's do the writing sample so this is the vintage and vintage and modern pens and it is the raw now I am not a calligrapher but there you go that's a raw ebonite and then you can see here in terms of the line variation it's a steel nib but it's a music nib so in terms of the verticals you're getting very wide verticals here and very narrow cross strokes because it is a 1.9 millimeter nib and it is the Franklin Christoph nib So it's the Franklin Christoph and then we'll do a little bit more here Let's try and write calligraphy. And then in terms of wetness, let's have a look at the wetness of this nib. It is a 1.9 millimeter nib. It's a music nib. So it's going to be quite a wet nib. And we'll do a little bit more here. Now I'm sure some of you can do a lot more better writing than I'm doing here, but I am working with how my writing is. So cautiously, flourishing. But you can see the difference you're getting here. Now, in terms of the line variation, if you wanted to use the pen on its side, you can do very narrow verticals there. But you can also do very wide horizontals. Or if you wanted to act it like a stub, you could do very wide verticals and very narrow 
horizontals. So you can really see the difference here. So if I try to write like this, you are going to get a very sort of narrow line. But then if I try to write like this, you are going to get quite a different line. So you really can get a lot of different line variation, although you're not actually able to apply pressure because it is a steel nib. But you are getting quite a lot of line variation here. You can see here that you're getting quite a lot and then in terms of bit of a line there you can see that's actually not a bad nib so the nib really does keep up I don't have any problems whatsoever with ink flow on this nib and it is a music nib so you would kind of expect that that would keep up so there you go that's a review of the vintage and modern pens raw handmade ebonite fountain pens Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.